Okay guys, so I want to show you something that's kind of like my top secret weapon. Not really, but it's super cool. And if you do any sort of design, I think you should have a file like this. Now, this file, I call it my sandbox. Because it's essentially a Structure Studios file that I get into and just lay out all my ideas. So if I want to look at a new concept, I use this file kind of as like a sketchbook. I just sketch out ideas, put ideas in it. I was looking at a pool design a while back and I was looking at louvers, you know, we all know what a louver is, but it's essentially what we see on uh, like vents in the attic um, or even blinds or something like that. What I really like about louvers is this. I'm just going to get right into it. So this, let me make myself small. Here we go. So this concept here um, is essentially a fire pit area with a bench and in behind on the raised wall is a set of louvers and what I like about louvers is how they um, change depending on what way you look at it and just having that change is kind of fun and satisfying to look at so you can see the louvers like close and open depending on where you walk or the, depending on the area that you come in at and coming from dead on center you kind of have an open area and closed area on the sides so it closes in and uh, anyways, that's one idea I had with some louvers. And you guys, if you want, which might be kind of fun, um, do a design yourself incorporating louvers and tag me in it. And I'll share your design and we could talk about it. Maybe in the design and build channel on my Instagram or just in the comment section. Um, but yeah, so this is one pretty simple louver design. And it's, I would call it modern, right? It's got like an aluminum top on a raised wall with raised walls on either end, a nice wood top bench and a fire pit. It's pretty straightforward, but kind of cool. And uh, the next louver design I have is a big raised wall. And this is essentially, the pool part doesn't matter, but yeah, you could throw this on the back of a spa or on the back of a pool. But um, just the way, this is just daytime obviously, and the way the sun works off of this back wall is just super cool. The way the shadows change depending on where the sun is. I mean, how, how awesome is that? And then at nighttime, of course, you could get really creative with your lighting um, that you utilize. Now, this is, again, it's just a raised wall. And this is, uh, they're basically like triangles, right? They're, they're like louvers. Now, you can make these, like if you want to get down to the, the meat of what this could be uh, from a construction standpoint, I mean, you could essentially take a block and cut it in a way to where, like if this is eight inches, let's say each louver is eight inch, you have an eight inch block, you could offset each block by the way you cut it and then just stack those one by one in front of one another and go straight up. And, and you could get a cool shape that way. Of course, you'd want to face it with like a porcelain tile or a stone. But isn't that so cool? I mean, that's like really fun. And you could put LED lights on the inside of this. Um, what I'm discovering with louvers though, if you have a design like this, you could do an LED light on the inside, that's cool. But these look super awesome with one light source. So um, at nighttime, I don't know, maybe you just utilize the pool light to illuminate that back wall and let the shadows play off of one another to get that depth look. Um, that was one idea. And I have two more cool little concepts. So this is like a planter raised focal tree area, right? And the top is like a louvered patio. It doesn't open and close, it's open, but it, it just provides some shade. Let me adjust the sun here so you can kind of see. So even at full sun, you know, it's casting like a, maybe like a 10% shade down there, maybe not even that much, but you're in some shade. And then not to mention from the tree. But the cool thing about it is it's raised. So if you imagine this in a yard and you have maybe three or four different destinations in the backyard, this is an awesome elevated focal point. And then the tree alone is super cool, but then to elevate the hardscape, this is a, a 14 inch raise essentially, seven inches for each step. By the way guys, what standard do you use for your steps? What standard height do you use? I'm really curious about that actually, what, what most people do for that. I've kind of stuck with seven inches, but I know, I know many people do different things. 
really quick on this design. Uh, when I first started doing this, I just laid out these lines, right? And um, it's really simple to get into a design and not think about the construction and feasibility of a build. Now, after I did the initial layout on this, I really had to think like, okay, Matt, if somebody really wanted to build this, or if I really wanted to build this, how would you do it? So when you're designing your concepts, you know, it's, it's fun at first to design freely and just kind of do whatever you want. And then, and you get really cool ideas out that way. Oh, I even put steps in there. I didn't realize that. Um, this is essentially like a big spa, but you really need to think about the feasibility of building it. Like earlier on this one, I mentioned, um, I mentioned like the block essentially, let me see, can I draw with this program? I think I can. Let's see. Essentially the block, right? Would be like this and then just lined up. Right? So if you took a block, I mean, you could essentially just cut it diagonally, you know, to, to get that uh, shape. Anyways, you guys get the point. But with this one, it was a little more complicated because it obviously has to hold up these louvers that are sticking out a good, you know, five feet, five to six feet, depending. Now, I'm not an engineer by any means, but this is essentially being held up by like a steel tube of some sort, right? A steel uh, pillar, that would be a steel tube. And then you'd have a steel ring welded onto the pillars. And then from each, from the ring, you would have a, uh, sorry, it's like blurry. I gotta fix my uh, focus here. There we go. From each, from the ring, you would have these, uh, I don't know, a beefier, I don't know what size exactly, but a beefier, steel piece coming off of the ring and then from that you would have these smaller just more decorative type uh louvers coming off of it um now i'd have to run that by an engineer or a metal fabricator to see the feasibility with this but uh i think it would be pretty doable and then the other thing that's cool about these louvers is they don't catch a lot of wind so if you live in a high wind area uh, these aren't likely to catch wind and want to kind of kind of blow over so one more concept on this, which is kind of similar to this, I kept the same vibe going, uh, is this guy. Now again, it's kind of a similar concept and it's got a tree as a focal point and it's got louvers as kind of just like a, like a background uh, texture. And coming up to this, walking up, you would have, you could see the openings and the louvers and as you get closer to the edge, they kind of close in. Um, but that's just kind of like a fun, Structure Studios is tripping out on me right now. It's like overwhelmed for some reason. But this is just kind of a fun, like dynamic uh, louver design, you know? I mean, it's just something different. That's what's cool about a file like this is you could just get out bad ideas. So what? Um, and not that I'm saying this is a bad idea, but you don't have to be afraid if your idea is bad, you know? You don't have to show anybody. Just do a design and see, see how it looks and get the idea, idea out of your head. I would say on paper, but now it's in a program. You could visually see it in 3D. It's super cool. Um, but yeah, with something like this, this is obviously easy to build. Um, depending on how you do this, you might want to have a steel plate as your base, maybe underneath all these sticking up and they would just be welded. You would have to figure out, okay, how high can I go with these louvers until they want to, gravity wants to bend them and pull them over. So you'd have to kind of play with that. Uh, you could change the color of these. You could do a lot of different things to kind of uh, just address uh, like the lighting and stuff of it. But anyways, let's kind of throw this at nighttime quick. You can kind of see the lighting looks pretty back there. Got some lighting on this one. I didn't fix the lighting on this one, uh, so it doesn't look that cool at nighttime. But obviously if you took this light and like went to one side so the so the light is going from this way this way um you'd get a lot of nice uh, solid shadow lines coming off of these and then this guy at nighttime is pretty self-explanatory um obviously if i were to really build something like this maybe some recessed lights up in the uh, the ceiling would be pretty cool 
Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, I wanted to share this sandbox idea with you. Uh, this is a file I have ongoing until the file size gets too big to where I have to start a new one. But uh, if you like seeing this kind of stuff, uh, I'll, I'll show you some more stuff from this file. Um, we'll look at some more design concepts and uh, just talk it over. And again, if you want to address any louver designs, if you have any cool ideas, uh, share them with me and I'll, I'll reshare it in my story. And uh, we could all kind of collaborate together. That's what's, that's what's fun about the uh, design community. But all right, guys. I hope you guys have a good uh, rest of 2023. I don't know if I'll have another video up before then, maybe. Uh, but if I don't, happy new year and God bless you guys. Have a good day.